craft spa hotel where you come and drink and bathe in the water. They treat it with UV light and that kills any bugs that may give you a bad upset tummy. So as we come into the city, you'll start to see this beautiful Palladian architecture. Big windows, classical design style, and big wide sidewalks. The pavements are nice and wide. We've nibbled them a little bit here as the cars have become more important. But you have big wide pavements so you can promenade up and down. So the ladies show a little bit of ankle to the gentlemen. The gentlemen show their calves. Show off to the ladies. If anyone's seen Bridgerton, you know all about that. Anyone seen Bridgerton? Yeah. Uh, if you think Bridgerton was racy, you've not seen nothing. That's a clean version. This is where you came, you ate, you drank, and you'd be merry, and you sell off the kids. Pretty much. So that's what happened, you know, that's one of the reasons why people like Jane Austen, she doesn't like Graf very much, she doesn't like the politics, she doesn't like all the gambling that happened here. You have afternoon tea, becomes very important in the late 1700s, early 1800s, and then after you've had afternoon tea, you retire and you go and play cards. Millions and millions of pounds was gambled on cards, billions of pounds even, was gambled on cards in today's money. So, Bath in the late 17, early 1800s, as you'll see in Bridgerton, is very much like the Las Vegas of today. You know, it, it's on that kind of path. Um, it's very much a part of the social circuit that the upper middle classes and the upper classes in the summer, they leave London, they go to their big country houses, spend the summer in the big country houses, and they'll spend a week or two, maybe a bit more depending on how much money they had in their social status, then in places like bar, socializing, going to the theater, going to mute, mute, listen to music, arranging marriages to marry off the kids, all happened here, those arranged marriages, and there were lots of them. So we're just coming into the city of Bath, and where we're gonna park up, which is on something known as Bog Island, B-O-G, Bog Island. That's where everyone needs to be back, and back on Bog Island at 4.30, 16.30. That's where you need to be, back on the island. And we'll walk together into into town. Some of you that have tickets for the bars will meet up a little bit later at 2.30 so you'll have time to go off and grab something to eat first. If you look out to your right you'll see over the bridge there we're coming over the river Avon and Pulteney bridges in the distance there which has little shops and stuff and houses on the top. But we're going to pull over onto Bog Island We'll all get off together. I'll walk with you into town, show you a few places, show you where the Abbey is, the baths, and then where those of you that are gonna meet me and get your tickets to go into the baths at 2.30, need to come back and meet me. Now, it's really important to be back at where the meeting point at 2.30 for your tickets into the baths because they're very strict about the, the group sizes going in and out now at the moment because of COVID and stuff. So we have specific time tickets. So if you come and meet me there, 